shoveling, shoveling down, hustling, bustling, hating the town. Look at those people from all around, happily awaiting that station. Look at the engine number 709, chugging on, chugging on down the line. Who do you think is about to arrive? Bend the call, rinse your left back.
sitting in Wellington and striking in vain. The MPs are slandering each other again. The whole town is wondering what the outcome will be. Will the lamb lose its price when we join EC? They're moaning and groaning and feeling depressed. Worse than the passengers on the Auckland Express. <laughs> But we can be thankful for good old our days. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful morning this morning. Just like... She's now finding out that the television pays to food manufacturers. The reason's quite plain. There's pounds worth of their products getting washed down the drain. <laughs> They're rioting in Wellington. All over the plan The government are importing <laughs> TV from Japan <laughs> They tell us that Auckland's the best since the war They're hanging the ship on Mac Heroini's door The North Auckland players can console their grief they missed on the shield. But they got two of heroin's teeth. <laughs> We have another song here, which is actually another parody. This uh, lyric was given to us by a young 15 and a half year old boy. His name is Trevor Knowles, I think it is. And uh, we received these lyrics of this song called Ahab the Arab. You know the tune well, I'm sure. So we have adapted it and we've called it Maury the Hoary. <laughs> we hope it meets with your kind of proof. Okay, here we go, fans. Chief of the Altair tribe, he had a kiwi and a moa feather stripping off him, so home grew to the tribe. He had a green stone matter hanging by his side, tattoos all over his face, and every evening about midnight he's jumped on his moa named Grace. <laughs> see, man, see, man, how come he was riding a moa? Well, where would he get a cab that time of night, huh? <laughs> and he'd ride softly into the night to the Nazi Pakowe tribe. Where he was secretly meeting up with Nga Hui Hui, the swingiest point dancer in the whole tribe. Like him and her had a thing going on, you know, they'd been carrying on for quite some time now behind the chieftain's back. And you could hear a Maury talking to his uh, moor as they thundered across the Galatea Plains. When all of a sudden, for no reason at all, Grace, she stopped and she prompt, she refused to move. And Maury looked at her and in a voice quite disgustingly, he said, Yeah, what a time to lay an egg. <laughs> well, he bought his mower to a screeching halt in the rear of the wee wee stand. Jumped off Grace, snuck around the corner and into the house like a mouse. There he saw the wee wee sitting on a dogskin rug with a feather in her hair and a tattoo on her chin and a green stone tooth. Ho, ho! <laughs> friends and neighbors sitting there in all her radiant beauty chewing on some puha two mutton birds three coomeras a sack of pippies a bowl of hoo-hoo bugs and sipping on a tin of raro juice looking at her television while she was watching Ahab the Arab and Maury walked up to her and he said 
I don't know you. No, no, no. She said, to the winner of the bullfight, I will give my love. I will give uh, me. To the winner of the bullfight, you know, it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. The bull won. <laughs> What's the matter, senorita, too clean? Please, don't listen. Well, you know, this poncho, he has retired from the bull ring now. He has a farm, and on the farm, he raises little bulls to big bulls. And when all the bulls grow up, he puts the bulls on a sheep, and he sheeps the bulls away to all parts of the country. You know what, senorita? They say this poncho is the biggest bull sheep in all of Mexico. <laughs> This next song is not Mexican, it's Maori and it's called Tahimititorue, Tahimitimarumari, 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 Sweet home. Make it. 